Hi, I'm Chuck and welcome to Inside in the Ditch. In this episode, we're going to be talking about our all new Cycle Caddy. We're really proud of this Cycle Caddy and some of the innovative features that we've put on it. We think you're going to really like. One of the things that we did is we wanted to make it easy to use, so we printed the operations manual right here on the fold up tire stop here, so they'd always be with the Cycle Caddy. We know what it's like to be out there in the middle of the night trying to figure out how something goes together. So we wanted to keep the instructions with the caddy at all times. The other thing that we did is we made sure that everything pinned together so that nothing would get lost or shaken loose when it's riding around in your tow truck. We also know how frustrating that can be to get out on the work site and be missing a part. So everything in this pins together. Here Chris is going to go ahead and remove the cycle caddy from the In the Ditch Pro Series toolbox. He's going to do a brief demo here on the ground to show you how easy it is to assemble the In the Ditch cycle caddy. First thing you do is remove the stabilizer arms from the cycle caddy. Then you're going to go ahead and fold up the tire stop. Then install the stabilizer arms. Here he's putting in the right hand side. Going to stick the pin in and then secure it with the hairpin clip. I might add it's a good time to always inspect the welds and the overall appearance of the product before you get out on the road in the middle of the night. Now that you've secured the other side, you want to remove the ramp and then install it in the back. Here Chris is going to install the V-bridle. We want you to note that we recommend that the mini J's always be pointed outward. Then we'd like you to winch the cycle caddy up to the back of the deck, right to where it stops, and then install the ramp. The ramp is really key to this thing working better than any other cycle loader out there. As you can see here, when the tire comes up, the cycle caddy doesn't even move. This is where pre-planning can really pay off. You notice Chris laid out the ratcheting straps before he got to the cycle caddy with the motorcycle. So it's real easy for him to just reach over, grab the strap, and secure the bike by himself. Once the motorcycle secured firmly to the cycle caddy, you want to get it off and go ahead and remove the ramp. It's very important to point out that once you winch the motorcycle and cycle caddy up onto the car carrier deck, that you install additional tie downs to secure it to the deck of the car carrier for safe transport. The cycle caddy from in the ditch is a safe and effective way to tow motorcycles with a car carrier. Thanks for taking time out of your life to watch this episode of Inside in the Ditch. See you next time.